The Iraqi Rambo is quickly surrounded by soldiers who all leave their positions and clamor to take selfies. Daesh just needs to hear the name of Abu Azrael and they run away from this place. They run. The high-ranking officers hope that the militiamen will be able to put some enthusiasm back into their demotivated troops. Morale is low. The army just lost Ramadi, the capital of the largest province of the country. He's a key person to lift the spirits of our troops. While we're filming, we hear gunfire exchanges. The army doesn't move, but the first ones to head to the fight are Abu Azrael and his fighters. The Islamic State organization appears to be making an effort to infiltrate. The army tells us they're just behind the sand dune. Soldiers follow the militia's lead, trying to imitate their hero or at least film him. The enemy is out of sight, entrenched behind these houses on the other side. The tank's machine guns start firing and eventually gunshots cease. Good, good, Finish. Abu Azrael says it's best we leave. Over the past year, the Islamic State organization has lost a third of its territory, mostly thanks to the Shiite warriors. But at what cost? In the freed zones, international organizations are now talking about war crimes.